So this has uh, become key. And the reason why it's become key is twofold. The first thing is we've known for a number of years that whereas in the treatment of paroxysmal atrial fibrillation, we can get fairly good results, in the treatment of persistent and long-standing persistent atrial fibrillation, we have very modest success rates. So studies would suggest that a single procedure success rate at one year may be as low as 45%, and over five years, that can drop to about 30%. Even with multiple ablations, we can get to 60 or 70% success with, uh, uh, with, with that at one year. But by the time you get to four years, even that can drop. So we know we need to do better. We also know that the only significant randomized controlled trial in the field, something called STAR-AF2, showed that if you do iron branding approaches to, to this problem, whether that's uh, linear ablation or, the, or ablation of complex fragmented atrial electrograms, that surprisingly does not at all add to success rates. So we know that in the treatment of persistent atrial fibrillation, we need to go a step further and understand atrial fibrillation in the individual patient. Until recently, technology did not allow us to do that because it involves some complex computational techniques, etc. But we now have the technology to do that, and we believe that this may well revolutionize how we treat patients.